at 3.30, we've got our first of our 3.30 window. We got four games in this window, but in all of them, I'm, I'd argue it was really good football games. 3.30 window is by far the window I'm look, most looking forward to. This game is by far the window I'm most looking forward to, but I might be a very biased fan. At 3.30, we got number one, Georgia, who's 7-0, taking on Florida, who's 5-2. Notice I didn't say at Florida, because this is a neutral field. For any of you who did not know, the rivalry takes place in Jacks. Uh, Georgia favored by 14 and a half points on CBS. Technically, this is a home game for Florida, but that just means they sell a little bit more tickets to Florida fans than they do Georgia fans. Carson Beck for Georgia has gone 173 of 235, thrown for 2,147 yards, 12 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Dejan Edwards has had 80 carries for 460 yards and 6 touchdowns. Brock Bowers had 41 catches for 567 yards and 4 touchdowns. Graham Mertz has gone 172-23, thrown for 1,897 yards, 12 touchdowns to only two interceptions. Montreal Johnson Jr. has had 85 carries for 438 yards and four touchdowns. And Ricky Pearsall has been him. 44 catches, 619 yards, and three touchdowns. Georgia's 54-44 and 44 against Florida all time. Last two games have gone to Georgia in 2021 and 2022. And they have won five out of the last six of this matchup. But to quote... Uh, I forget what his name is. FDU last year uh, was taking on Purdue in the March Madness tournament. They were the, Purdue was the number one overall seed. It looked like an absolute dominant team. It looked like it couldn't be beat. FDU was extremely. It was the smallest team in the entire tournament. Uh, and he came into the locker room and he said, "The more I watch Purdue, the more I think we can beat them." And they beat Purdue. They became the second 16 seed to ever beat a one seed. The more I watch Georgia, the more I think Florida can beat them. Um, I don't think this is a strong Georgia team. I don't think this is an insanely great football team. I think this is a good football team, but I think the more I watch Georgia, the more weaknesses I see, and the more that I think the Florida Gators can win this football game. Because not only do I think we have the better quarterback, Graham Mertz has been awesome. I, I wouldn't take another quarterback in the entire SEC over him. He has been downright amazing. I think we have the better receiver in this matchup, especially considering Brock Bowers is out, which is going to be huge for Georgia, right? The reason Georgia has been so dominant, has been good on offense this year, is because you have Brock Bowers. And then as a defense, you have to decide, are you going to double-team Brock Bowers, or are you going to single-team him and let him beat you, or are you going to double-team him and let someone else beat you? We don't have to worry about that now. We can, we can double-team someone else, which is awesome. I think we have the better receiver. Obviously, I think Ricky is th the best receiver in the SEC. I wouldn't take anyone else over him. He is absolutely, he has ice in his veins. I think we have the better running game. Montrell and Trevor combined, I think, is a great running back duo, arguably best in the country. And I think we have a decent defense. I don't think our defense is awesome. I feel like this is a shootout. I feel like if you're going to take the over-under on this game, you take the over every time. I'm a little concerned about the offensive line, but Georgia's defensive line isn't full of studs like it was last year. There's a lot of reasons I liked Florida in this football game. I think Florida's the better overall football team. I think Georgia is extremely overrated. I think because just because they beat T Kentucky by a lot at home does not mean a lot. I understand we lost to Kentucky by a lot on the road, but we're, that's a road game. We don't play well on road games. This is Jax. This is technically a home game. Uh, South Carolina was a great game. We're coming off a bye. So is Georgia, but... Just every game except for that Kentucky game, they've seemed lackluster. The Auburn game, you watch more of that, the more I think we can beat them. I think Florida's the better football team in this matchup. Give me the Gators to pull off the upset of the week. Go, Florida, baby. Chomp, chomp.